YouTube family. My name is Alicia English and welcome back to my channel. Today we have another full day of working on projects in our camper, getting everything ready and prepped so that we can start doing our painting and designing come weekend time. You guys are always asking me how I get everything done now that we have our YouTube channel and a family and lots of projects on the go. So I'm actually right now, before I get started working on the camper, prepping to get a beef stew in the crock pot. So dinner is already ready for us at the end of the day. So I'm actually gonna be doing two projects today with the crock pot, one for dinner and one other one actually part of the renovation of the camper. So stay tuned. This week, my family and I took a new adventure. We decided that we wanted to look for an old vintage camper that we could restore as a family to do a project over the next couple of months. We're looking to do some traveling and I knew this was the perfect solution to have accommodations to suit all of us and our pup gunner along the way. So we headed to pick up and buy a used camper and brought it home and started our renovations. We have already tackled so many projects over the past couple of days and I can't wait to do the styling we're going to do for the final reveal of the camper. This has been a great project so far. Here's a sneak peek of everything we've been working on this week. Once we tackle all of the demolition we're doing on the camper, we'll be able to start thinking about all of the things we're going to put back in the camper. I have dreams of a boho style, and so we're getting ready to get all of the prep work done so we can start later this weekend. I was planning to use a crock pot to be able to do my hardware today. One of our YouTube family members suggested that I boil my hardware that I have from the camper in a crock pot. That way I'd be able to sterilize it and get off any of this gross gunk. I know that this is aged patina, but I wanna actually take all of this off because I'm going to be changing the color that I'm going to be using for the hardware. And so instead of using my crock pot, since I'm already making some delicious stew in mine, I'm going to boil this on the stove in a large old pot. I have all the knobs and the knob bases in my boiling water and I'm gonna come and move them around ever so often. That way I know that I'm getting all of the areas in between. I'm interested to see if I can get some of the original brass to come through because my plan is to actually spray paint these in a really nice gold color to accent what I'm doing in the camper. But if I can get these back to the original gold brassy color, I won't have to put a coating on them. So I'm gonna see what this is gonna do. While Philip is working inside the camper, I'm taking some time to sand some of the lower cabinets that are going to be in the kitchen. Because I am being so impatient and because I have to wait a couple more days before I get some more supplies for the camper, our truck is just in the shop. So until the truck gets back, I'm going to tinker with a few things that I can get done that I know are going to take some coats and some dry times in between that are going to end up back in the camper. And so I'm actually going to show you what I'm going to paint the bottom cabinets in the kitchen. And so I'm just doing some prep work on getting the drawers and the cabinets ready to be able to apply the first coat of paint. So I'm super excited to show you the paint color that I've chosen because I'm going to do something different on the bottom than I am on the top and then I'm going to be putting back that original hardware but I'm going to be doing something to that hardware to really complement the paint that I'm using so I'm getting this prep work done now. While well, Alicia's sanding I finished up cleaning up the rest of the old subfloor and subfloor joists and then we're gonna take this insulation out, get some new lumber and put in some new floor joists and then the subfloor can go back in. Alicia's clearly in her glory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love cleaning, but if it's prep work that I'm gonna be able to do to be able to paint, then I'm all for it. And I'm super excited to actually be painting anything because we are clearly still doing so much demolition right now, but it's a nice day out. And so I'm taking advantage of some of the breeze we have be able to get these bottom ones painted because I'm going to want to do a couple coats so and I'm excited to show you what color I'm going to do. Yeah. There's about 30 years of stuff on these cabinets Ew. <laughs> that I'm sanding off and then now making sure that they're super clean and dust free before putting on AP.
That was even after I sanded it. I saw that. So gross. Ew. Ew. I feel like I'm real styling today. This is my new camper makeover look. <laughs> Ready for paint? Oh, I'm ready. We have a nice backdrop of all the demo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm going to edge all of my drawers and stuff first, and then use my roller for any of the flat surfaces. I sanded these like crazy, just to make sure that my paint will adhere a lot more to it. Probably not necessary with the good quality paint I'm using, but extra prep work definitely will pay off in the end. And so I'm going to use one of my brushes, and my favorite green color paint. I'm sure many of you could have predicted I was gonna do something green in the camper. And so my lower cabinets are going to be green. And then I think you're gonna like what I'm gonna do with the hardware. brushes that leave no brush strokes. <laughs> Because these are made out of a plywood type material, some of the tops of these appear to have a slight bit of a texture. And even after sanding, that didn't go away. Once I apply the coats of paint, we actually won't see any of the texture likely at the end, which I'm happy with because these are really gonna look like full kitchen cupboards that you would have literally in your house when I'm done with them. So I'm pretty excited. They're gonna look nice and smooth and like brand new cupboards. And I think just for a first coat, you can really see how nice they're going to look. I am going to do several coats, but I never really look for full coverage anyways on a first application. But since this is like a plywood, it's really soaking it in quite fast. One down, a whole bunch to go. <laughs> <laughs> The paint that I'm using, you can find at Home Hardware. I really like using their kitchen and bath paint when I'm doing any projects that I know are going to be anywhere where I'm using the stove or any grime is gonna be on. And they have really good quality paint. You can really just put on one application sometimes. I usually like to put on a second just to know I have that extra durability, but I count on the durability of this paint. So I'm really thrilled that I can get it in my local area. There's Home Hardware's all over the country and I just really like the beauty tone paint that they offer. I wanted to show you now that I removed the hardware from the boiling water, this was a before I actually put it in the water. This one was when I took it out of the water before washing it. And then this one was when I washed it off. Huge difference. And all I did was boiled water in a big pot and put the hardware in for a couple of hours. We have once again worked our way to losing all sunlight and it's now started to pour rain. So we're gonna call it a day on our demo for our fourth day doing our camper. I'm excited with how much stuff we've gotten done in just a really short amount of time. I currently am not even standing on any flooring. <laughs> Philip worked all day getting all of the subfloor out, all the pieces that we need to replace. So tomorrow we're going to be going to get some half inch plywood to be able to put the flooring back down and all the wood that we need for the joists and the insulation, which is awesome, which means we're back to rebuilding now that we've been tearing everything out. Tomorrow I'm going to start tackling taking down the wallpaper and finishing up some of the cabinets that I was painting. I went tonight when our truck got back from the shop to pick up some paint and supplies to get painting the outside of the camper, which is so exciting, which if it doesn't stop raining tomorrow, we won't be getting to that to the weekend, but I'm happy to have the supplies on hand. Tomorrow we're going to go pick up a bunch of stuff that we need to be able to be bunkered down for the next couple of weeks working on content for the camper. So stay tuned for a lot more content. I really need your guys' feedback. I know a lot of you have been commenting that you've spent a lot of time in campers or RVs. And since this is my very first one, I really need your recommendation on things that you think are absolute must that we need to have in the camper. So it can be storage options. It can be supplies that we might need. Anything you can possibly think of to send me your tips, please leave them in the comment section. I need all of your expertise. I'm so excited to show you the style that I'm going to do for this camper. I think I'm gonna blow your socks off with what we're gonna do with this camper. So stay tuned. If you're not part of our YouTube family already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. 
We are gonna be doing so many things with this camper and I'm so excited to have you part of our journey. Thank you so much for all of the nice comments. You guys are seeming just as excited about this renovation as we are, so we love having you part of this ride with us. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. I'll see you guys on the next project.